How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and in this video I will be doing a reaction to Agnetha's The End of the World. So if you already done so please smash the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and let's get started. <laughs> Agnetha The End of the World is a pop song written, composed by Arthur Kent and lyricist Sylvia D, who often worked as a team. They wrote the song for American singer Skeeter Davis, and her recording of it was highly successful in the early 1960s, reaching the top five on four different charts, including number one on the main Billboard Hot 100. It spawned many co many cover versions, one of which of those is by Agnetha. Oh, shoot. Did I even just look? Oh, gosh. There's nothing on... Uh, no. Oh, Susan Boyle did it? Wow, that's, that's fun. Um, yeah, so the reason why I've done this is I did uh, Karen Carpenter's version, uh, and then someone told me to do Skeeter Davis, which is the original, so I did that. And, you know, I like Skeeter Davis's voice the best, to be honest, between the two. And so someone mentioned that, that uh, Agatha did it as well, so I figured, oh, let's check that out as well. So um, before I even go into that, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you I'm biased, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to like Steve, Skeeter Davis's version. Um, my view on hers versus Karen Carpenter's was I felt that the song itself lent itself to a much more youthful feel to it, just the lyrics and the song itself. Um, and I believe Karen Carpenter was 23 at the time of singing that. I don't know how old Skeeter Davis was, but I... I just feel as if the voice itself needs to be more youthful. So I don't think I'm going to be a fan of this in advance, just so you know. Let's check it out. Why does the sun go on shining? Why does the sea rush to shore? You know, this song is really growing on me. It really is. That's a beautiful song. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. So, now that being said, I'm going to say I do like Agnetha's version better than Karen's version. Uh, but I'm, I'm still going to go with Skeeter. Skeeter, what is his name? Skeeter Davis? Skeeter Davis's version. I, I think, so my, my view, so Agnetha's voice, that doesn't sound like Agnetha. It's not sounds much younger. It sounds different in my opinion. I mean, I'm gonna have the right thing. Um, yeah, it doesn't sound like her to me. Uh, yeah, it doesn't sound like her to me. Uh, so that's, 
Um, number one is I, I would prefer this over Karen Carpenter's version. My Karen Carpenter fans out there, I still love Karen Carpenter more than anything, just so you know. I love Karen Carpenter. You know that. You know I love Karen Carpenter. Number two, um, I'm, I'm kind of almost sold on liking it better than Skeeter Davis's, but like I said before, it's just, I, I feel like Skeeter Davis's voice just has more youth to it, and I think the youth part sounds better. Unless, you know, I feel like I should try and listen to a, a much older woman sing it and see how it sounds on the direct other side of it. So, you know, a young voice versus a much older voice. I think that would be a nice contrast. Uh, number three, nice sax solo, really lazy sounding. I kind of like that, you know. Um, I like feeling the, the song through the instrument, you know. They kind of got to really blend right in there and kind of play. Like, I feel like this song is kind of lazy, um, like you have to play lazy as that instrument does, and I think he did a great job of that. Um, so yes, that is where I am with this one. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comments below. I'll do a, 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 I'll do like a little compilation of these three, maybe somebody else. If there's any other versions you think I should try out, go ahead, toss it out in the comments below. You know, I'm kind of this song is growing on me, so we'll see how it goes. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next video.